see some fishies. Oh, and uh, there's a dove. And it's so crazy. So let me show you all the feeds. I'll show you all the feeds in here. Come on guys, let's go. So, I am going to go right closer. Jason, what'd you find? Dinosaurs! Look, tails are the eggs. I pet the dinosaur! Wow! Dad, do you see it? It's so big! What is it? Oh, it's a velociraptor! It's a Utah raptor! And So I don't know what Kaysen told you, but in fact we are in clear water today <coughs> at the uh, aquarium, which Kaysen did not know this, but they have a dinosaur exhibit going on here. So we're meeting Steve and Shelly, we're seeing the fish, the marine life, and Kaysen gets to see a lot of dinosaurs, so it should be a good day. So this is uh, their dino rescue event here. All the dinosaur exhibits, they have names and they have a little backstory. This is Jazz, the Utah Raptor. Uh, while Jazz was hunting, she became ensnared in a preset trap and sustained a broken arm, similar to a sea turtle entangled by improperly disposed fishing line. Jazz was brought to a CMA, the Clearwater Mar Marine Aquarium, by our rescue team for rehabilitation. I feel like that's a more accurate representation of what would happen if dinosaurs were still alive than what happens in Jurassic Park. <laughs> yes, it would probably upset the ecosystem to some degree. Um, but we would probably get it all figured out. It would probably stabilize itself back out at some point. And then things like this would happen. He's pushing it with his nose. Where'd it go? He's back over <laughs> looking at the T-Rex. I like the Velociraptors. Nugget, popcorn, and waffle. <laughs> Nugget, popcorn, and waffle were surrendered by their caretaker after they realized they would not be able to provide them with the amount of food or space they need to survive. The story serves as a reminder to always research your pets before committing to care for them. Also, never try to domesticate a wild animal, especially ones with shark-like teeth. The crocodile's eating fish at. He's eating fishes, Kaysen. This is a sarcosuchus named Al. Lizzie became entangled in a fence and injured her tail. She was lethargic and struggling to move upon rescue. I'm, I'm like, oh, poor thing. Uh, they attempted to detangle Lizzie, but after her injuries were too severe, Lizzie's injuries are similar to how North Atlantic right whales become entangled in fishing gear and struggle to survive. Cosmoceratops, Timothy and Wanda, Wanda and Timothy. Wanda and Timothy both sustained injuries after suspected poachers attacked them and attempted to take their horns for sale in the black market. Similar to sea turtle shells, their horns can be used for ornamental decorations and jewelry in some cultures. Wanda and Timothy will remain under observation while they re rehabilitate. That's also relevant to um, white rhinos um, having their horns poached for supposed medicinal properties. <laughs>
they ate a balloon string and it hurt their tummies. So that's why we don't want to throw trash in the water, right? Right. Because if dinosaurs or other animals eat the balloon string, they could get owies. Hunting group when they were struck by a vehicle that was driving faster than the speed limit in reverse. Each dinosaur sustained injuries in the collision like broken bones and lacerations similar to the manatee boat strikes. Collision could have been prevented by following the posted speed limit signs and using caution. Mm -hmm. Age old story. Showed symptoms of severe congestion in his trumpet like crest. Causing exposure to harmful al algal bloom? Oh, like, like red tide events. Uh, so, algae blooms uh, affect many species both in and out of the water by releasing toxins that can lead to respiratory irritation. Some toxins affect the central nervous system of fish and other vertebrates, causing these animals to die. Uh, we were listening to Josh Gates and he was talking about a red algae bloom might have been the cause of many of the plagues described during the uh, exodus of uh, Egypt. But uh, Parasaurolophus with a head cold. I am standing under the tail of a Parasaurolophus on a herbivore, possibly the most dangerous end to stand under. We're leafy for lunch, and I got a crocodile on my front head. It's just a dinosaur. See, this is the long neck. So, bye bye.